but uh, the same energy, even though the building was well, obviously a little smaller, but same energy. Just uh, again, just talk about tonight, what that was like, and part two of the main event. I think it was everything that we could have imagined and so much more. Um, incredible energy again, um, just a lot of fun. Yeah, putting the two nights together, it was just surreal. See all the support and love coming from the community. I felt, I definitely felt a lot of love, you know, being in the hometown of Maine uh, with these two boys, so it was just great. It was great. So, what, is this your first trip to Maine? It's my first time in Maine, yeah. yeah. Too bad it's so cold, right? Well, chill, I was hoping it was, it was, it was going to snow because I'm from Georgia. But, you know, it's coming. It's coming, <laughs> so it's coming later. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of back and forth the whole game, honestly. I mean, obviously, you guys won by a lot, but it was still kind of entertaining, honestly. Um, if you want to talk about Cats Academy's game, I mean, they yeah, had some I good players. I think they're know. a good team. And they, yeah. you know, they, they shot the ball well. And it's come out in the third quarter. You could easily you know, stop playing. They banged four threes right away. Yeah. Um, I think they're a good team. We just, you know, we're just fortunate that we have a lot of high-level players, and, and you know, besides the talent level we have, we also shoot the ball really well. So that's really tough to not get surges, you know, and get knocked out of the game pretty good if you don't have the size and athletes to compete. Yeah. Speaking of shooting, Cooper, you had those three threes in like 90 seconds. That must have felt pretty good. You know, everyone always talks about your versatility, but they're like, eh, shooting maybe. But I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like you proved all that wrong tonight. Yeah, I mean, that, that all felt great. Um, it's all the work that you put in. And honestly, I wasn't even going to shoot the last one until I heard Coach Bullitt tell me to shoot it. <laughs> and I just and shot it. Nice. What did you see on the alley? Uh, I saw the ball hit the rim, actually. Um, it wasn't even a great pass. <laughs> 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 but no, I mean, in all seriousness, it was a really nice pass. Great play. Cooper, uh, you don't, you make it look so effortlessly out there. What's what are you looking forward to the rest? What do you want to get better at the rest of the season before, you know, obviously next year and you go to Duke? Uh, yeah, so just working on physicality, um, mentally, physically, just getting tougher, um, and all around just keep improving. What do you feel are ways that you're a, a different player than last time these fans saw you when you were in your freshman year? I mean, I know it's just as nice a freshman versus the uh, uh, versus where you are now, but what do you feel are the things you've added to your game, be it the outside shot or just other ways you feel like you become a yeah, I think I've just approved all around, um, just being surrounded by really great players every day in practice, um, whether it be just IQ, shooting, I think I've just kind of developed all around and just continue to get better every, every single day. How about the outside shot? What, what's, what's going on? I mean, is that just something that uh, you've recognized? This is going to need to be there for me at these later levels, so I need to make sure that this yeah. comes along? Yeah, I think or? it's just reps uh, at the end of the day. If anybody wants to get better shooting, all I need to do is put in the hours, put in the time, and just put in the work, really. Guys, the, the one thing in coach that amazed me about your team is the fast start you get off. It's like people don't even find their seats yet. It's like 12, 15, nothing. And as a coach, you must be, I mean, elated the way you guys begin. Yeah, we've had, um, I don't even know what a record is, but whatever it is, we've had probably 85% of those games we've gotten off like that uh, really quick, really hard. I think they're really focused. You know, you get a lot of seniors, they're really focused. Um, and again, guys are starting to play really, really confident, and they share the ball. But they make the, you know, and they, and they do an excellent job running sets with detail. So they have a good blend of letting them play, and then a good blend when we run something, they, you can, we can run 30 different sets, and these guys all have high basketball IQs. So we can see, you know, the Celtics play and say that's a great play, and throw it in this afternoon, and they'll do it tonight like they were doing it for the last, you know, month. You know, so they have a really good. It's, it's unusual to have that many guys that could, you know, on the fly. Without even practicing, to practice and throw an ATO in and execute it, you know, with great, great detail. Hey, so we asked Liam yesterday, what was this week like in terms of anticipation of knowing that they were coming back? You know, I just, the hype around it was just amazing. Like, you know, you get the nickname, you had the Flag Brothers, and, you know, all the fans. So it's just, you know, it's just really a blessing. You know, I can be on a team where, you know, the fans, um, you know, from Maine. And, Everybody come showing out, so it's just amazing. Really. What's it feeling like when you see three, three, fall, uh, fall down the deck? You did that right at the end there. Look, you were kind of feeling it. Teammates obviously feeling it. What just is the, uh, the thought going through your mind at that point? Uh, it's just a great feeling, um, just knowing that all the hours and reps you put in. It's all just going to show, and just be confident, and just let them fly, um, and just trust yourself. Guys, will you, will you be able to enjoy like tonight, or you know, with family and friends, a, a 
or is it right away off to Springfield? Or? Uh, I'm not exactly sure on that, but I'm probably be able to be able to see our family again and just hang out with them for a little bit. Uh, what's the plan for the rest of the season? What do you guys want to get better at individually and as a team? Um, I think individually, you know, I'm just going to keep improving my game, you know, all around. Um, continue, you know, break, be able to play around the perimeter. And I think as a team, we should get better at uh, locking in on defense and, you know, talking and communicating more. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say, yeah, just communication on defense. I think that's a big, big thing for us right now is just getting better at talking. Everybody needs to be more vocal as a team. Just want to, like, keep pushing. And we know what all, all, we all know what our sights are set on. Um, so we just want to get that done. I would say, you know, just pushing the tempo. We got to, as bigs, we got to run the floor better. Because, uh, you know, when we get matched up, me and you know, Derek Queen, one, the, one of the best two big men in, in the States, we just got to run the floor more. Yeah. It's kind of the question I asked Cooper. When you think back to the player that you were when you left the Columbus and came here, and now where you are now, where do you feel you've made the biggest strides in the, the areas that you feel uh, uh, you look back and, and say, oh, are the areas you've made the most improvements in? Yeah, I think just uh, expanding my game outside, you know, further further away from the basket. If you look, um, playing in Maine, you know, being my height, you know, it's got me out of the post growing up and coming coming out and out playing, playing here, you kind of got to be able to play further away from the basket. Could you talk about the grittiness that Ace has to his game? I mean, it just seems like he's, you know, battling for rebounds, battling to play it down low. He's uh, he's. He's got, a, he's got a real toughness to the way he plays. Ace or Ace? Ace. Ace. Yeah, I think that, um, well, one, he's very physical. You know, him and Caleb Gaskins are probably the two most physical guys on our team. And then the physicality drill we do, of rotating and walling up, they do a really good job of that. And I think, again, he's really expanded himself, being comfortable on the perimeter. And now he's really working when you get those switches on small, quick guards to stunt and stay in front. And, you know, that's the next step to excel at. But, the shot's gotten a lot better. He's starting to get comfortable with the shot. But, you know, he's probably a few months behind where Cooper was. Even early in the season, Cooper was not totally trusting his shot. Mm -hmm. You know, he was looking to drive, sometimes forcing drives. And when you don't trust that, the floor gets smaller. It helps in. And when, you know, even if he's missing them, just taking them. And if people are thinking you can make it, then, then it opens up his lanes to get to the basket. He uses that athleticism. So he th I think he's, he's in that point. He's starting to get to that point where he's starting to trust his jumper more and not just think I'm going to score inside, which he has to do to be, you know, to be a high-level college player, which he's going he's to do because he's on a good path. He's, he's on that path now, really confident. You know, and just like Asa, I think Asa was six for six tonight, he had like three threes. So you, know, you have one of the better six ten or above shooters in the country. Um, I actually think statistically, Matt Monday's Max Preps or somebody had it. I think our team was number one in the country in three-point field goal percentage. Um, you know, besides as a team, which is in the field goal percentage line. And a lot of that, though, is shot selection and sharing the ball. That's the biggest thing with these guys. They really don't care. I even kid with Cooper that he wasn't going to start because we usually rotate. We have six seniors, <laughs> and including him, he hasn't started some games. And he's, you know, it's okay. You know, it was, wasn't even like, Coach, I got to start his name. <laughs> you know, but it was a situation where I think they're just selfless guys. And uh, it, it's a great qual quality, but at the same point, I'm like, you got to be a little selfish. If you want to be a star level player when you get to the big big time because there's a lot of guys that are you know and, and being selfish in his way is good because it's good for the team it's good for the team if you're getting 18 20 shots versus a lot of the <coughs> guys that are before doing that so that's why uh, you 